up so it is the end of the night from my mall shopping trip with my boyfriend he wanted to take me out shopping today so this is going to be a haul slash unboxing video still got my puff pubs in they lasted all day happy about that so let's start with this first bag so we went to a store at Lakeside Mall called Anime GT. Um, I love going there. They have a lot of cool anime, anime stuff there. I never really buy anything from there because the stuff's a little pricey. But all I did was just get this giant container, uh, giant package of Pocky. My boyfriend took one because he wanted to try it. But yeah, it comes with nine containers. Obviously, I have eight left. But yeah, that's what it came with. So, some snack on. Cool. And then he got me, I got um, this horse pendant, Chinese Zodiac horse pendant because I was born in the year of the horse. So yeah, that's cool. I'm going to put this on display on my bookcase. Well, I'm going to figure it out once I'm done with this video. I'll figure it out how I'm going to display it on my bookcase. I don't need that no more. So then we went to Sears. Where I got these cute little flip flops for ten dollars. Um, I got some swim stuff because my best friend's birthday is Monday and she wants to go to the beach, so we had to get new swim stuff. Um, I just got some shirts for work because we have to wear collared shirts, but that's pretty much it. I got a new bathing suit because I'm not sure if my old one still fits because my bus size did get bigger. But I got this uh, bikini. It's really, really cute. I do not particularly like the bottoms of it, especially the back part. So I um, mix matched it with just like regular black bottoms for $7. But I really do like the color scheme of the bikini. Uh, I love the gold trimming on the back. Well, the gold clamps on the back, rather. I really like this design. It's really, really pretty. So I can't wait to wear it on Monday when we go swimming. I am excited, Cecilia, for your birthday. She's going to see this later. We also went to FYE where I was going to get some pop figures, but they're like on my birthday wish list. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get them at any point in time before my birthday. My birthday is two months away. So, yeah. A little to my surprise... FYE at Lakeside Mall sells Japan crates. I've never gotten a Japan crate until now. I would really, I would have loved to see what was in it before I got it, but that'll take away from the mystery and the surprise. So I'm going to do an unboxing video of what I got in the Japan crate. So the one that I got is the snack one. Japan Crate has partnered with FYE to offer an exclusive crate full of the best Japanese candy, snacks, and drinks you can only find in Japan. Inside, you'll find a total of 15 items. Two pounds of Japanese candy, snacks, and a drink. $10 gift voucher off a of future Japan Crate subscription. Maga, manga, sorry, manga zine with item descriptions, contests, and manga. Bonus includes a mystery collectible featuring one of the following. Um, either Rilakkuma, Snoopy, I'm not sure what this other one is, or Pusheen. And I do love Pusheen. I have Pusheen figures. I have two Pusheen boxes that my boyfriend signed me up for. I thought he was just getting me one for Christmas, but yeah. So let's go ahead and open her up. I am excited because I've never gotten one of these before. Oh, 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 there's a lot going on inside here. Oh, look at that. And I love the design. Cool. Okay, so let's get into this. This is. The gift voucher, explore more of Japan's best goodies with this unique code for $10 off. A 3, 6, or 12 month prepaid premium Japan Crate subscription. And I can redeem it at japancrate.com slash FYE. 
Valid on prepaid multi-month premium Japan credit subscriptions only. Code expires this year in October. So I'm going to hold on to that because I'm probably going to do it. So this is... Okay, so wait. Here's the manga. Volume 22 FYE edition. Oh, okay. So this is just... Okay. This is just pretty much everything you can get in a Japan crate. And it talks about food. Actually, it, it just talks about Japan as a whole. Like, it's talking about the food, Japan in spring, schools. Um, it's talking about, like, wonderful treats and drinks and stuff. I think. Oh, okay. So, what's in your crate? Okay, so I'm going to start with... Because I, I have no idea what these snacks are, so I'm just going to start with, okay. Amaibo Tonkatsu, I hope I'm saying that right. Our favorite puffy corn snack is back. This month you'll try Tonkatsu sauce flavor. Tonkatsu is a deep fried pork chop common in Japan. It's typically served with cabbage and a sweet sauce. If you never tried it, this bio tastes just like the sauce. Okay. Open her up. Oh, it smells good. I think it's just one long. It tastes like a like a pork rind. Okay. That. Okay. What do we have next? This is. It's like ice cream. Double ice cream lollipop, lollipop chocolate and vanilla. A lollipop flavor with ice cream. Find out more about this delectable treat on your future candy bag. So I think I'm going to try this one last. What's this? This is. It appears to be monster stamp candy, an interactive candy that you can use to stamp fun monster shape. Moisten the bottom of your stamp to start using it, then you can eat the whole thing when you're done. Okay. It looks like a sweet tart. Oh, that's cute. Mm. Oh, oh. I'm not really liking the aftertaste. Oh. Ah. I'm not really liking that aftertaste flavor very much. Okay, glad I have some juice. Do you ever get those candies that have like that bleh aftertaste after you eat them? Yeah. Okay, this is a San Kaku vegetable cracker. San Kaku means triangle, which explains why these crackers come in cute triangles triangle shape while they're great by themselves the vegetable flavor also appears with toppings like cheese or ham okay they smell like they almost smell like these chips that my mom used to eat. Hmm. 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 It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty delicious. Okay. 
heart triple, heart chipple. As the name implies, these chips are heart shaped and come in a barbecue flavor. Yeah, what does it say? Yakini ku is Japanese for grilled meat, so these cute chips are bursting with savory goodness. I'm not the biggest fan of barbecue chips, but let's give these a try. Mm, I smell like barbecue. They're not as barbecuey as I thought they were gonna be. Kind of tastes like like how steak would smell, maybe. Okay, that's pretty good. Candies. Pachi Shuwa Dynamite Melon Soda. A tasty spin on classic melon soda. Oh no, wait, I think I might be reading the wrong thing. Is Am I? I don't think I am. Nope, it's Chewing Sour Apple Straws. Sour straws are a fan favorite. And these come in a tart green apple flavor. Chew is the sound effect of kissing, pucking to the name. Chewing is quite clever. It is clever. Okay. Mm. I think I'm seeing the bonus item down at the bottom, but I don't want to peek. I'm just going to take a piece because I know they're going to be like really sour. They're good. Real good. I'm not super duper, super duper, super, 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 super shower. Okay, wait. Yep, these are the candy that I didn't like. Okay. I see Hello Kitty. I'm going to wait to get to it because I want to be surprised. This is... King's crown. The king lost his crown. Lucky for you, it ended up in your crate in this form of a delicious cookie. Help him find his crown, or better yet, eat it. If I can get it open. If not, I guess. Cut it open. Oh. Oh. It smells really good. Oh, there's a filling. Just like a little wafer. Mm, chocolate filling. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, oh. This is, I believe, pudding. Pretend pudding dye. Sweet pudding is a popular treat in Japan. You can find them in convenience stores. Package in a small cup to enjoy. This DIY kit lets you make your own pudding cup of sorts that you can drink through a straw. Okay, so we're going to make this one later. Okay. What's this? Sour cider gum. Here's something for sour candy lovers. Sour uh, cider is a refreshing soda. I guess that's the right one. So that is especially good for hot days. This gum encompasses that flavor with a sour kick. I am not the biggest fan of sour gum. I hope I was reading the right one. Yes, I was. I'm not the biggest fan of sour gum. However, I will try this later. I just want to get through the box and get to that 
the Hello Kitty and among other things. This feels like a... Okay, it's on a stick, I can tell you that much. Oh, it is a drink. Okay, it's a drink. A tasty spin on classic melon soda. Drink it straight from the bottle or try freezing it for fun, ice experience. I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to freeze it. I think that would be good because I don't want to waste it. And I got some Hello Kitty Strawberry Pocky. Of course, we know what it's going to taste like. I'm just excited that it's Hello Kitty. Okay. Then we have Kakovis, which is Coco Biz. A crispy biscuit with a hint of coconut. These go great with tea or coffee. Okay. I can smell the coconut. Let's see. They smell good. Oh, it broke a little bit. Okay, that's okay. Oh, it's glazed. Wait for cracker. Pretty good. What's this? Okay, these are Yuki no Yada Yado chips. This is his 40th edition. These salty and sweet chips are a new spin on classic Japanese senbi rice cracker. The name Yuki no Yada means snow in. As the frosting on the senbi is said to look like snow on an inn. These smell like cocaine. They have the crunch of a pork rind. Mm. It's not too salty. And it's not too... Um, what does it taste like? It tastes like a cereal. It tastes like a... I can't think of the name of the cereal. It's a very common cereal. Kind of tastes like... Hmm. I can't think of the name of the cereal, but it does taste like a cereal. Okay. Now we have a soda, original bionic drink of lifeguard. I'm scared to try this. I really am. The super life drink contains seven plus vitamins and amino acid and brings quite a jolt with it. A nice mix of honey and royal jelly makes this drink tasty and smooth. Check out the feature candy page to learn more. Okay, bear with me guys. I'm scared. I'm scared. It smells good. It almost tastes like Seven up or Sprite. Yeah. Okay, I think the surprise gift was Rila Kuma, and it is a Rila Kuma towel. I'm not sure if it's microfiber. 
But it is a real Akuma. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a real Akuma. I'm liking it. I think I might use this to like wash my hair or something like that. Because it's relatively small. Yeah. So, real Akuma towel, which is cool. And that is the end of my Japan crate. The snacks that I liked were. I like the Yuki no Yada chips. The King's Crown is pretty good. I already know what the strawberry uh, pocky is going to taste like. The Yaokin Cocoa Biz was pretty good. The Seal Lifeguard drink is pretty good. It tastes like a 7-Up. The Heart Chipple. It was okay. It wasn't like a deep barbecue flavor as I thought it was going to be. But like... It's like, oh, okay. Because I, well, I'm, I'm not too crazy about uh, barbecue chips. I really like the vegetable crackers. Those are pretty good. Um, I'm going to try the melon soda and the sour sour gum at another time. I like the chewing apple straws. I'm going to make the pudding at another time. I'm going to try, matter of fact, let's do this right now. Let's try the lollipop. I'm so sorry. I'm suffering from allergies. It's cute. Mmm. That's really good. Okay. Mmm. The only two things that I did not like in the Japan crate... I don't want to necessarily say I didn't like it, but it was like, meh, okay. Was a uh, Mbayo Tonkatsu. That was okay. The Monster Candy Stamp. I did not like the immediate aftertaste after it. I find some candies do have that. Not all, but some, like, every once in a while you get a candy that has that blech, blech aftertaste and I just didn't like it. Stamp is cute. I just didn't like the aftertaste. Hmm. This is really good. Hmm. I was trying to see if you could bite into it. So that was the end of my Japan crate. I had a lot of fun unboxing it, and I learned a lot. Oh, I also like the, yeah, the, well, yeah, I said that first, these chips. They are pretty good. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just really enjoying this lollipop. <laughs> well, that was the end of my unboxing. I had a really great time with my boyfriend today. I'm happy that he did take me out shopping. Um, it's rare that we get to do these types of things, and I have fun when we do it. I just have fun spending time with him. But this was a really fun day, and I'm glad I got to get a Japan crate, Japan crate and experience it for the first time and unbox it and show everyone. <laughs> I hope whoever sees this has a good time watching it. I'm sorry that it was so very long. But this was my first Japan crate. And I just wanted to get the description of everything that was in it. So, yeah. I had a really great time today. Um, I hope everyone else out there had a really good day doing whatever it was you were doing. Whether it be work, school, or whatever. I'm glad you had a... I hope you had a good day doing whatever it was that you were doing. I am excited for Monday to go swimming with Cecilia for her birthday. I am trying to figure out what to get her. I think I already have an idea of what I'm going to get her. However, I don't think it'll get here in time. However, I, 
I know I'll be able to give it to her after her birthday. I know she's going to love it. So, thanks for letting me share this with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get settled in for the night. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!